can I start by asking the politest rude question? Why, why are you here? Because I've just been asked to come by the manager. That's all. I think he's got a couple of things he needs to do. He's not, he's not avoiding us because of maybe what happened on. No. Not at all. Not at all. And his mind's all right and he's okay. He's fine. Uh, he's fine. Why wouldn't it be? Well, I think people the last part, couple of games would be concerned that maybe. Which couple of games? Well, the game of the weekend in the game in the Champions League afterwards that maybe he's a little bit. You know, uh, a little bit is that, is that in what that way? way? Sorry, go on. Well, I, I think he, I think he was let's go back. Let's go back to the the, the game at the weekend. Well, well, the first time game, the first game, you've not scored in, in seven months. So mm -hmm. That's going to be frustrating. And then, well, where did that? What what, what what what's supposed to have happened after West Ham? No, I'm just saying he looked. He's, he's casting a frustrated figure. But is that a natural thing when when things perhaps aren't going as well as they were last? Where, time? where, where, where okay. Sorry, I'm I'm not with it. Where's no, he no, cutting no, a frustrated no, figure? And that's no, no, just some of the things he said. Just his body language, um, especially more perhaps on Tuesday night. Not so we can put West Ham away. So, oh, so what's yeah, that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's just talk about Tuesday. So then. Okay. Right? He's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it understandable though that he, he might be frustrated? Well, I don't know. It's, I don't think it's a case of being frustrated. I mean, we're in a game that we um, against Ajax, where we all know that after three games, it became a, a in many ways a, a vital game. I mean, we, we words get written. It's a must-win game, etc., etc., etc. And yet, ironically, we sit here now and not we're mathematically not out. And nobody's trying to put a gloss on a situation. You know, we sit bottom of a group, and it's it's not just our results that we need to get right in the last two games. And other results have got to go for us as well. So nobody's trying to gloss over thing or for look for a positive in that whatsoever. Let's let's just you know clarify that. Um, we conceded two goals and gave ourselves a mountain to climb. We conceded two goals from set pieces. Um, no, we haven't been doing that. You know, there's just in we, we conceded one in Ajax as well over the last two weeks. Um, so therefore, we look at that and you think, right, okay, well, that's something that we'll have to get on the training pitch to do, and we'll 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 have to tighten things up. And we, you know, we're talking about that because you always look at what you're doing well and what you're not doing well in in particular periods, not necessarily over a season, but into particular periods to try and um, that's what your job is basically to work on them. But we gave ourselves a mountain to climb in a game through two goals that aren't particularly created, that come from set pieces, that are avoidable. Um, and then we had the, the tensions of the game, we got ourselves back in it, in the second half we, we more or less dominated territorial possession I think. Um, by doing that you always risk something on the break, but we, we, we limited Ajax to very few chances I think in that second half. And therefore there is a... Uh, not a tension, but there's a, there's a the ball's not going in the back of the net in a, in a game. You get back to 2-2 with 20 minutes left. Um, we have a goal disallowed. Now nobody's turning around at the end of the day. The week before that, we had a goal that was disallowed for West Ham. So we can't go too much on the fact that we've, we've had a goal disallowed for offside. People make mistakes. Um, and then we have a free kick in the last seconds that, that the referee allows to go into, our, into the box. He allows it to be taken. Um, there's an header that comes down. I think the camera angles and sure that there's a there's a clear penalty there. Um, now, why wouldn't somebody be frustrated? Who's the manager of a football club? Why wouldn't we all be frustrated? You know, players are frustrated, supporters are frustrated, uh, staff are, are frustrated. Um, and Robbie's gone onto the pitch and he's spoken to the referee. And as he's coming back, he's got a he's got a camera in front of his face. Now that, you know he's had, he's got that camera in front of his face for thirty yards, and turns round, and doesn't he? Speaks in English to him, and, and it basically he's saying, "Look, that's enough now." Um, but people then want to start talking about things that have happened, and 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 almost ex exaggerating the the incident. Um, I don't think he's the first manager to have gone onto a pitch. Um, and seen it. I think if you go onto Wikipedia, you'll find that actually he's done it before as well, not just as a manager, but as a player. Um, he wears his heart on his sleeve, and that's what he does. And um, you know, we, we can we can sit here and we can we can drag it on for another three days if we want to drag it on for another three days, or even four days if we want. But that's what seems to be, to me, the the, the thing that's happening around us at this moment in time: half voices, half truths. Um, stories that you know are probably big enough to go one day are actually lasting a lot longer than that um and for what reason i don't know i don't know what the reason is i just know that we've got a game against tottenham and that's what we should be talking about but the manager for three or four press conferences i think has come in and not really spoken about the next game he's spoken about what people want to write about and things <laughs>